So happy International Women's Day, the day when we celebrate performative, pointless acts of quasi-faux-feminism. Um, you know, if we were really to have a day that celebrated women, presumably we'd have to have a day where we all got paid a bit more and, you know, rape and domestic violence were taken seriously by the authorities and everybody stopped using demeaning language and treating women over a certain age as though they were invisible and women under the same age as though they were purely there for decoration. Um, it's ridiculous, isn't it? The reality is that International Women's Day marks the day when you will get the largest amount of pink coloured emails spamming you with products that you ought to buy to prove you're a strong independent woman, to encourage other strong independent women, to celebrate general womenness, or indeed the opposite thereof, that you should buy for women you know, that you should buy... I mean, it, the whole thing is just a marketing exercise and so many companies use it as a way to femwash whatever it is that they're getting up to so they put on a, a day you know an event at lunchtime which you will typically have to like carve half an hour out of your lunchtime even to attend they'll ask someone like me to speak and i 100 percent guarantee that their email to me starts with them saying i'm afraid there's no money for this i've been asked to do unpaid work on international women's day for the royal college of surgeons yeah, a couple of years ago, that is completely true. Like, that's how seriously people are actually taking International Women's Day. They don't even pay their speakers. And in any case, nine times out of ten, the actual tone of the events they're holding is basically woman blaming. So it's like, how can we encourage women to get into STEM jobs or higher paid roles as though the problem is that we're just not ambitious enough, that we're just not really interested in science and not that we struggle because we're discriminated against at every level of the process to get into positions of power, to get into roles that are well paid, to get into certain sectors such as science and technology. How about having a day when we try to get rid of all that negative pressure rather than piling a load more pressure on us in a different direction and then maybe giving us a workshop in our lunch hour that we have to skip doing something relaxing and enjoyable for about how we can juggle work life and having a family without ever asking the question, should we have to? And secondly, asking the question, is that really why women are being held back in the workplace? Is it because they're just too caring? Because, spoiler alert, it's not. Ah, sigh. Well, uh, yes, thank you so much for your ongoing support, especially on this special day for me, which I'm enjoying enormously. Um, I'm in Adelaide, and if you know anyone in Adelaide, please, please, please tell them about my shows, which open on Friday at Cafe Komodo on Prospect Road. And also, if you know anyone in Adelaide, please drop me a line and put me in touch with them, because I am not in a particularly good situation here, and I would really appreciate some help and support. Um, but also to those people who do help and support me by sponsoring these videos and to those of you who are thinking that maybe this would be the moment when you could start doing so that would be hugely hugely appreciated it can cost as little as a dollar a month and you'll get access to loads of bonus features and special just for you videos and a chance to have a say about what else you'd like me to talk about and that kind of thing i will really really appreciate it and otherwise i'll see you next week